kind of point out the differences between these super popular platforms. Yeah. Now these are, are gasoline based. Correct. Um, so we got the Ram Promaster Nova, and this is the Ford Transit based um, Beyond. Yep. And what we have uh, Nick do is just point out a couple of um, differences between these because it's the little differences that make a big difference when you're traveling in your van. So I'm going to spin this around and let him kind of talk about the width, the, um, the length, the height, and the gasoline, and maybe the wheels, because all this kind of matters in the end. And this is just, I just love this, this comparison side by side. Neither one is bad. They're just, Correct. They're just a little different. Totally make a different. Big thing. Totally so, different. So let's start here. Uh, this is the Nova on a Promaster. Nova on a Promaster, 20 feet, 11 inches long and it is nine feet four inches tall and the interior 75 inches of interior height from floor to ceiling floor to inside. ceiling okay. inside so that's the promaster transit 22 feet six inches long um and it is nine feet 11 inches tall and 77 and a half inches of interior height so although it's a larger vehicle it's it's not that much larger a two and a half right a foot it's and a half really longer and you get two and a half more inches on the inside of, of height. But this is this is what's amazing. When they measure the storage cubic foot, I don't know how they get that measurement, there's more space in a ProMaster for stuff and storage and space because it's wider than the than the transit. So, so there's more space. So it's the widest of the three chassis. It is this the widest. is the skinniest and the tallest on the inside. So that if you're correct. a tall person, this is the one you want to lean if toward. You're a tall person on this. Now, some of the other things. This is a Ford EcoBoost V6 engine, and it's all-wheel drive. That is the kicker a lot of times, all-wheel drive. This is a 3.5-liter V6 engine, 9-speed transmission, and it is front-wheel drive. Only. Front-wheel drive only. Can't change that. Cannot change it. They're both V6s. The EcoBoost there versus the non-boost, non-turbo, <laughs> I don't know what they call it. But V6 engine. So. Virtually the same size engine. The EcoBoost gives it a little more oomph. You can feel it horsepower-wise and all that. But what's really cool is that there's options. So 20 feet, 22 feet. You go up to a Mercedes, it's 24 feet. They're going to have the same quality from Coachman on the inside. They're going to have a great camping Class B experience. But when you're talking about length and size, you know, the question is, does, does the size matter? You know, when you get in it, how do you feel? How does it, how does it, you know, the beds, the height, the width, the length, are you tow? Oh, this has 3,500 pounds of towing capacity. The Transit has 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. So there is more towing. This, this has a push button start on the engine, the ProMaster does. The Transit uses a traditional key. So there's, there's definitely those things. We got a special van tour for you today. This is Nick, Sunshine State RVs. Thanks again for your time. Yes, sir. Um, what are we sitting in today? Yeah, so we're sitting in a 2024 Coachman Beyond. It's on a Ford Transit chassis, 22 feet long, um, all-wheel drive, and this is the D floor plan. The D floor plan. So if you haven't seen the video we did on the Coachman Nova 22D. Nope. 20D. 20D. Nova sorry. 20 Beyond 22. That's how long it is. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, but 20. the D is the distinction for the floor plan, Correct. which is the rear dinette. Correct. So you want to see that video because same floor plan, but I will say already a pretty different experience. Yes. And that's what we want to do today. So again, just thanks for your time. Yeah. Um, Sunshine State RVs, located in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole United States. Coming soon, number one on the universe. In the universe. <laughs> Galaxy. <laughs> He's just a great guy. If you're shopping for a van, you really need to hit these guys up. They're great. Uh, uh, let's have Nick kind of show us the, the back here and uh, maybe even do the bed, but I'm, I'm seeing some big differences. Let's have you show us this. And I, I just have to say this right out of the gate. So this has actually been raised a few inches, which gives you some storage. It does. But how tall are you, Nick? Six foot. Six foot, and you're just hitting the, the am, top there. I am touching. But this a is a little bit. But, but you know, you're not going to be walking through this area much. Right. You know, if you walk in, you might take a step or two and then sit. Right. Or you might, you know, back and forth. And then with the air conditioner, they're already. So, you know, really where you're going to be standing and doing things is up there. Yep. The fridge, the kitchen. So, you know. I, but they kind of take advantage of the height. They do. Of the interior height because, you know, they can add four inches of storage. Right? So it's nice because there's storage here and storage from the back. From underneath. So tables or chairs, whatever. Yeah. You 
Um, kind of show us what we're looking at. So clearly a twin bed model. Yep, right? this is a twin bed model. Um, I love these lagoon tables. So if you're sitting on one side, you have a lagoon table. There is a TV right here. So we can just, you know, move this TV out. I can use it as a double monitor if I'm working from here. So I can be working right here, use that as a second monitor. It is a smart TV. So I, I don't know, I really like how flexible this lagoon table is. And we can mount a second one. So if there's somebody else that needs one, you can mount one here, you can mount one there. I mean, you can mount another yeah. lagoon table anywhere you want. And that is the beauty of these lagoon tables. Which is really nice. Um, but what, what, what's, what's really cool is the storage, Scott. So I'm going to step down here and show you a little bit. Maybe, so, uh, maybe hand you the... Oh, oh yeah. perfect. Got it. So how do I do this? Yep, you're Ooh, doing fine. Look at that. So what's neat is there's storage under here. There's storage under there. And currently we have the tables and we have the hose and all that. You're going to be using this stuff. But I mean, there's three feet of storage there by six inches. People put tables, they put chairs, they put all kinds of really cool things in there for storage. Look at that. That's nice having a cameraman. <laughs> it is, hired. right? <laughs> so this is pretty unique as well. So this is like a little ledge to give you a, a extra room while you're sleeping right here. And this you know, cool. slides down if you don't need it, and then it's there for when you do need it. Almost so, like a nightstand. If you, yeah. If maybe use this. Oh, look at that. A little cup holder for when you're sitting. For when you're, yeah, that's cool. Very, very neat. And they have it on both sides. And then this is the ledge for when you want to make it into a king size bed. So we'll do that here in a second. But one thing that people always talk about, Scott, yeah. is being able to slide things in. So let's just yeah. say you wanted to slide something in. All you have to do is just slide it right in and there's lots of space there to slide things in. So if you have skis, if you have bikes, if you have scooters, if you have stand-up paddle boards, uh, skeet shooting, you know, gun screen, cases. Bug screen rooms. The bug yeah. screen, any, anything you want, this is a great area to store things in when it's in twin bed mode or when it's in king bed mode. Look at that. I gotta take a picture of that. Oh, look <laughs> at that. There we go. I like it. That's the thumbnail. That's funny. Perfect. <laughs> nice job. And let's have you... Do I get a raise since I did some of the filming? You've got a definite raise. <laughs> that was well done, sir. Um, so let's kind of demonstrate the bed. I think, well, let me let's see. Can we get this open with the... Uh... Yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh, take the table down. I'm gonna show you the storage cabinet down here, which is great. One great thing about lagoon tables is how easy they are to use, really. Right. I mean, within, there again, seconds. seconds, it goes there, stores, look at that, stores just like that. And now this thing is stored, ready to roll, ready to roll. out of the way. Out so the way. this lifts right up, and my kid says the Teenage Mutant Ninja uh, Turtles yeah. will come out of there. But this is very durable storage here, very big also. And they figure instead of having a cavity there, why not give you extra storage? Extra storage. And, you know, that is what's great about the guys at Coachman. Uh, you know, they've been doing this 60 years now. They're celebrating their 60th year of making RVs. And in those 60 years, they they've, 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 they've figured a few things learned out. Learned a few things. And speaking of storage, I mean, here's storage right here. Just, you know, for big bulky items, toilet paper, potato chips, paper towels. Uh, that's you a, put toilet paper and potato chips in the same place? Sometimes it's clean. It's fine. <laughs> I think. Well, hey, hand me the potato chips and some toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Hurry. Um... So cabinet storage up above. Cabinet storage. So, you know, as we're looking at this, this is the maple cabinet. So they make three colors in this. Oh, you know what? They're about to make a fourth. They're, it's coming out like in the next month. They're making a really nice gray color. It's beautiful. I've it's, seen it. It's really it's nice. It's yeah. gorgeous. And so this is the maple color. They make a white color that we just saw on that Nova. Um, and they also make a cherry wood. Um, we don't do a lot with the cherry wood. 99.99% is maple or white. Yeah. I have a feeling that gray is going to be really popular. Yeah. Um, but all of this cabinetry is made at a local Amish cabinet shop. They're in uh, Middlebury, Indiana, which is about 10 minutes from the factory. And they do a great job. Um, the Amish factory does great at making it, making all the wood, all the cabinets. And, you know, something that's really cool about Coach, I know I talk about them a lot, but they make three models, right? So they make a Galleria on a Mercedes, they make a Beyond on a Ford, and they make the ProMaster on, or a Nova on a ProMaster. All three of them have the same quality of cabinets, same insulation, same lithium, same air conditioner, same fridges, same everything. They don't skimp out as you change models. So if you want the bigger model in a Mercedes, that's 24 feet. If you want a Beyond, that's 22 feet. If you want a Nova, that's 20 feet. 
you're not getting less, you're not getting a diminished product. Yeah. You're just getting a smaller van. Well said. It's so true. Um, nice Bluetooth JBL uh, stereo. There are speakers here. There's speakers there. There's speakers throughout the entire coach that are all controlled by that Bluetooth stereo, which is really nice. There's an app for your phone. For there that. is. Yeah. There's an app for your phone for that. Um, this here, let me, how do I get this back to its place? There we go like that. So this under here is the Firefly. I don't know if you can see that or not, Scott. So that is the Firefly. There is also an app for your phone that controls that. There's a bigger one up front, so we'll kind of touch on that. But that does lights and tanks and air conditioner and all that. There's 110 plugs, USB, USC, and 12 volt power all I right here. So happy they included C finally. I, yeah, right. Because it's well, like five times the charging capacity, something like that. And my new phone only does C. Yeah, right. The, oh, new, yeah, the new iPhone only does C. Titanium, only the best for Titanium. Nick. <laughs> Titanium. Titanium. Um, let's talk about this because this is this is kind of a Coachman thing too. Yeah. So Coachman for the first year they were the ones to bring the Truma air conditioners to the market. For the first year they had an exclusive on the, this Truma air conditioner. That year's up, so other people are using it now. But I will say that I have talked to hundreds of people that have switched from all different types of ACs to this Truma, and every single one has loved it. They loved how quiet it is, how energy efficient it is, how it has a dehumidifying mode, it has a nighttime quiet mode, it has it is slim lined, so it's not as yeah. it's, it's, it's not as big as the other one inside, and maybe, it's not as tall. Maybe, maybe an inch and a half, if that. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. no, at it, the widest part. Right, the tallest right part. here, it's way yeah, less. It's way less. Um, but what's nice is very energy efficient, cools tremendously. Also, on the roof, it's not as high of a profile. It's a lower profile roof mounted unit, so that way you can get into more places, and your van's not as tall. Because AC is always the tallest point of your van. Yeah, 100%. Always. And um, I've been in RVs that have this. And I can tell you, compared to mine, the vibration is at least half wow. of what it is. Which, nice. to me, that's where all the, all the noise Well, the goes. vibration helps me sleep. It's like putting a quarter in the bed. And... <laughs> they still so, have those in motels. I have no idea, Scott. <laughs> I, there's so many things to do. I stay in Class Bs. I don't know about you. <laughs> I, know. I don't stay in motels. I stay in host historic hotels sometimes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah just uh, so beautiful. We get the brushed aluminum, the cabinetry, reading lights with USB. Uh, yep. USB Big, on the side here. Now, these are not the awning style windows. They are not the awning style windows. Uh, these have a nighttime shade and they have a screen that is built, built into in the window. window. Yes. Yeah. So nice big windows though, lots you can see. They do open, they do slide open really big and nice on both sides. So you do have that cross ventilation Cross as well. ventilation and just lovely laying in bed looking out these ginormous windows. Yeah. Wow. Speaking of laying in the bed, you want to see what the bed looks like? Let's see it. Let's see it. So let's put the lagoon table on the floor and let's make the bed. So Don't fall out. We have, <laughs> I know, right? I'll try and help. Hard so to... this is a little different than the other one. So we have one that goes ah. up there. You can flip it over. It goes like that, uh, like this. So you're going to use a table. Oh, here, here you go. Here you go. Oh, there you go. Hand me that. I'll Good just idea. make and slide. Oh, there we go. See, once you get a system, you know, living in a Class B van, you, you got to have a system. It's all there. about having a system. So you stand here and you kind of make your system. You put it in, and then you slide it in, just like that, and slide them out. I probably there we go. I well, probably gotta use that. But, one. but for now, yeah, we won't. So this just lays. And this also has wood on it. Oh, wow. so it's sturdy. So it is sturdier. Um, something that's really cool, Scott, is there are seat belts back here as well. Oh yeah. So you do have extra seat belts in the back, so you can put it. You can ride four extra people back here, which are really nice. When you're talking about, you know, if you have grandkids you want to take with you. Yeah. So now. That's a big bed. It's a big bed, right? So six foot plus across. Let's see. Let's see. Let's give the people what they want, Scott. Yep. They want to see you in bed. I know. <laughs> It's kind of a scary uh, uh, you know, right? thought, but, but yeah. It's, so you're kind of how tall and wide? Six foot tall on yeah, the wide I mean, side. So mom, dad, dad, mom, um, no Dog. problem. Dog. That is a Very huge easily. Bed. Very, Very easily. big bed. Lots of space. I, don't, I mean, like, I, I don't feel like I'm going to fall. I feel very sturdy right. in here, moving around, doing everything. So very. And you still have your garage storage. So you do. So what's... So what's great about that is some people like to leave their bed made up all the time, right? Yeah. And so if you left this made up all the time, you have full-time storage yeah. from the back or from the front, which is really, really nice. 
Yeah, it's really it's really smart. And again, if you don't need the big, really big bed, two twins, your choice. Two twins. You know what I've seen other people do? If it was just a single solo person traveling, yep. just make one side a bed and the other side put put storage racks on it or shelves or a table yeah, like this could come like up full, and, yeah. this can come up you Standing yeah leave desk, this somewhere you know, yeah and very easy very very easy so then from back here you just make the bed there i got i got it. so then here just make the bed here push it in there and then these slide right out one two and three, and three. now the bed is unmade in a matter of seconds and then Put the lagoon table back up, and nice. now all this space available again. Wow, it's How awesome! Really, is that? It's really pretty impressive. Yeah. What a beautiful day to be recording. We're going to show you the outside Very here nice. in a minute, but I think a lot of the juice is on the inside. Um, let's have uh, Nick come in, and then we'll, I'm going to switch positions. And you want to show us the galley a little bit because it's pretty cool. Yeah, perfect. Um, I just want to point this out. There's they gave extra uh, uh, space here, so for pillows, blankets, feet at night. Um, and they kind of show us around the galley a little bit. Let's start here. What is behind cabinet yeah, number one? Yeah, so this one? is a wardrobe cabinet, pretty consistent with the other Coachman models. So you have a, a bar there if you like to hang your shirts up. Which I do. If not, you can fold them here, or you can just leave these two shelves, put them, so I mean. Owner's choice. Yes. So you know what you could do? If you want to hang your shirts and only come to here, you can put this shelf there, and you can have a couple places for storage for stuff. of yeah. things. There's a plethora of things that you need. Wow, big vocabulary. Plethora. plethora. I didn't go to college, so I don't them. know how to <laughs> spell any of these words. Um, so, Wi-Fi Ranger. This gives you internet. There is a there is an antenna on the roof. You plug a SIM card into that, and it is built in. No, oh, that's cool. So, yeah, very cool. Very that's cool. Very cool. Um, your inverter switches here. Your solar control tank heater. So, this does have tank heaters. It's a, you know, they do have extra insulation. So, Coachman has some really cool options on insulation. They have a cozy wrap, which is an optional upgrade you have to pay for. And we, every RV that we get at Sunshine State RVs, we get the cozy wrap in. So it is an extra layer of insulation on the coach. They also give you the rock wool insulation. That is what's standard. So we do both on every van. That's so great. I think it makes a such deal. a difference. A hundred percent. In all types of weather. It's cold and hot. Cold and hot. And We're mainly in, hot here. I know, Florida, right? And I just love how they, they, they carpet, whatever this material is, you know, the top side and bottom just keeps things from moving around, reduces some of the rattles, yeah. um, marring your wood, not going to be a problem with this. Um, this is kind of unusual, I'm sad to say, uh, but I like it that it's here. And again, glass, Amish cabinetry, I think you'd mentioned before, but yes. it's just really very, beautiful. Very nice. And, then, and I like some of the differences, how you have different materials. You have glass, you have wood, and then you have the aluminum, the aluminum and then you have like this vinyl. So yeah. I just like the different materials. It's not all just, you know, blah. Yeah. You know, they do a really good job. They, they must have a good designer there at Coachman who's who's doing it. Even a paper towel holder. Bush. I know. It's probably the first mod every van owner <laughs> does. Instantly. And the second mod they do is? A trash can. A trash place. can. Look at this. So you have a full size trash can and a place for that trash can. Where it kind of belongs. It's extra storage for all kinds of things back here. Very so nice. smart. This we'll is for your sponges and your spatulas or scissors or whatever. You got your sink here. So you can put plates in here to dry. You to can dry. stand them up or forks, knives, whatever. Whatever you want to stand up in there. Nice residential faucet. Yeah, so something that's cool about this cabinetry are the dovetails. So it is high quality real wood. I mean, it's not just that, you know, plywood staple junk yeah, that happens. Uh, shower miser. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. We will, <laughs> we will. So very cool. Yeah. All these cabinets are solid wood. Yes. Uh, so you put your organizers in. Um, and what is, this is this like is, kind of the newest rage, right? This is an induction stove. So you have a induction pan that you put on there. It doesn't get hot. So in these vans, you really don't want things to produce heat. And so this doesn't get hot itself. But also, if you're never going to cook, you don't even know it's there. Yeah, so just put a little silicone cover. I've seen people, so yep. it's, it's protected. Just but, uh, forget that it's even there. And so it needs a, a steel pan, cast iron or something like Correct. that. You can't use aluminum. But Correct. That's, uh, I just see this more and more. So that's really smart. Use of space, Yeah. Um, number one. And, yeah, it's just... So Especially good. with all the lithium. So this is the Li3 Beyond. So this has the full lithium system, uh, which is 630 amp hours of lithionics batteries. It has the 3,000 watt inverter. It has solar panels on the entire roof. Underhood generator and everything on this coach can run for 
six, eight hours just on the batteries. Using, just, yeah, just the batteries, AC. Just on the yeah. air conditioner, everything. But what's cool is, I know we haven't got here yet, but this well, is... Let's get there. <laughs> let's get there. <laughs> this is a Firefly. So on the Firefly, there's an app where you can control all of this. This gives you your tank levels, your battery levels, uh, your lights, so individual lights. But what's cool is you can press off and at once oh. all the lights turn off. Do that again. And then you can cool. turn it on yeah. and all the lights turn on. So it's a very easy on and off process, exterior and interior. Um, you control your awning here, battery disconnect. What's really neat is you have a lithium battery. So right now we're at 55%. Um, and what you can do here is there's a Lithionics app. So the app lets you control it. And I've never been in this RV before. But let's see, maybe it's this one. And it I can, it auto connects very quickly. And it's showing me that we're at 55%. Wow. Even at 55%, for one day and 19 hours, we can run in this van with everything that's running right now. That's the fridge, every light is on. It can run for almost two full days. Now, if I turn the AC on, it's gonna change. It's gonna change of five or six hours right now yeah. because we're at 55%. But within two hours, this thing can be fully charged up. Fully charged. Because there's a second alternator, like I said. Yep, so second easy. alternator, turn the engine on. And check this out. You want to see something cool? Yeah, Watch please. this. This is neat. <laughs> so so now I just turned the engine on. And now the same app is going to tell me how long it takes to charge the batteries at where we're at right now. Let's see. That's going to connect to the fork in that. Uh, not wrong one. Failed. Uh, maybe this one here. Let's see. There it goes. There it is. So now, there we go. So now it's going to move down and it's going to tell me how long at just sitting here it's going to take to charge the battery. So just sitting idling to charge these batteries from 55% to 100% will take, what's that say? 90 minutes. One hour and 24 minutes. Wow. So you know how long you have before it, and this is only beeping because the seat is yeah. swiveled. So if we unswivel it, it stops. So you know that you have one hour and 24 minutes until you're fully charged and you can take off. That's pretty, at, at regular idle. Well, I mean, we're just idling. idling. Yeah. And we're not doing anything it's else. probably five or 600 RPMs, right? Yeah. So, a little yeah. over 500. 500, so that's pretty impressive. Oh, but I like how it tells you how much time you have left and how much time you have till fully charged. It's really all smart. All on your phone. And that took 10 seconds. I've never been in this van before that yeah. I know of. And, and I've never actually logged into this system, but just press it, do it. Very, very simple system to use. And again, just the attention to detail is just so beautiful. Uh, screen, we're gonna show outside in a second, so stay well, tuned. But we, this, this is, is, your, this your is favorite my room favorite in the room in the house. Yes. Um, so and again, the, ca the cabinetry, a little storage down here, which is pretty cool. They call it a magazine wrap, but who carries magazines now? Do they make those anymore? I don't even know. <laughs> don't know my either. daughter, I will say, I came home yesterday and my 14 year old was looking at a Taylor Swift magazine. Well, Taylor Swift's her own universe. So. She is <laughs> definitely her own universe. I just want to live in that universe, Scott. I that just, is it. I just want some of the profit from the universe. <laughs> that's, that really, that's all I care about. Too. <laughs> this is a big bathroom. Yeah, so bigger than some of the other ones, it seems like. Nice, you know, the sink is a good size, has a separate faucet for the sink. And then there is a, a shower head that you can move around. And this is a real thing. This isn't like Leak. some chintzy little RV shower. RV shower. This is a real shower, nice mirror in here. There is a shower miser as well, something I talked about a second ago, how it stores the hot water. When you turn the water on, it fills it up, lets it heat up, and then this thing turns colors, and then you know you're ready to turn your shower on and shower. That is so great. I There's a black it. water tank. Yeah, and this is traditional wet flush. And that's a ceramic. Ceramic, so not plastic. That's plastic. Plastic. Stain. That's ceramic. Ceramic toilet, which is nice. Which toilet is paper holders. Nice. Now, you do need a shower curtain for, because the doors are beautiful and wood, but um, I like the glass. What do you think of the glass? Yeah, I think it kind of gives you a, an element when you're in there that you don't feel like you're in the back cave. Right. Um, <laughs> and when you're out here, it just kind of looks pretty. You it know? looks very residential. Yeah. And if you want a little privacy doing your thing, just slide the curtain across and it blocks out for everything from outside. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also do it, you know, one of the reasons for the shower curtain, if I'm in here and, and, and let's just say I don't like the shower doors open on me, you can just use the shower curtain oh, yeah. as, and you can leave the doors open and just you have a little more elbow room. You have more elbow room, more space. 
So this is what I would do just to kind of give me a little extra space yeah, here, you know. that's true. I don't know if I actually shut the doors personally. And it uh, drags on the floor so it would keep the water inside. Yeah, uh, which and if it gets a little wet out there, it's fine. Yeah, just wipe it up. That is really beautiful. And so behind you is oh, there's some storage above, and storage. I noticed a couple things. So this is so this is nice, deep, big yeah. storage in here. So yeah. all this is carpeted like you like. Yeah. Nice and quiet, doesn't move around. There's also a lot of storage behind yeah, I that. I mean, that look out. at that. So that is, I mean, that is I mean, really that's, nice. Yeah, that's at least a foot. Right. Um, so again, tall items, maybe. Um, and I they don't give know. you a little nice wood trimmed cabinet back there too. Oh yeah. Every inch matters. That is really beautiful. So I see a table leg. So you put another lagoon table here. Yeah. So the, the both these seats do swivel around just like I had it, but that annoying beeping. I know. It's you right. have to stop it. <laughs> but both these seats swivel. You do have another table leg here that you can use. And then this is the new ProMaster. So this has that nice transit. Big, I'm sorry. This is the new transit. 